When you come to Boeing and our service reps, they know the aircraft. They don't have to call anybody else to get that information because they already know it. I'm here with Richard Sullivan, the vice president in charge of the magnificent beast known as the B-2. And uh, we're talking about the upgrades yes, that are being done. And give us some idea as to what's really new with these upgrades. Um, good question. So over the past five years, we've been focused on what we call them as block upgrades. So right now, the first block, which would be uh, currently in operational test, is implementing a capability called Flexible Strike. Flexible Strike is about having each weapons bay have a unique capability. One could be a rotary launcher, one could be a smart bomb rack, one could be a rotary launcher, one could be a mop, and so on and so forth. And implementing that capability was necessitated by the need to have a new uh, onboard storage management computer, which is part of that upgrade. So again, we're at the tail end of that. It's been flying an operational test, and uh, we're getting ready to have that uh, permanently fielded. Now, let me ask you, General Ray yesterday mentioned putting hypersonic uh, vehicles on the B-1. Uh, is there any chance of that happening on the uh, B-2? So, Northrop will fully support any weapons that the Air Force wants to put onto this weapon system. The weapons bay, uh, with our RLAs can support a number of options. So the next block that we're doing right now is what's called P6. What we call P6.4, and so we're putting the JASM ERs on there now, mm -hmm. right? So the aircraft has continued to be modernizing its weapons capacity and weapons capability through the the two upgrades I just said. So what the future holds, we're all in on on how to support the Air Force and whatever they want to put on this weapon system. And there's a new set of upgrades, yes? Yeah, so the one after that, which is probably one of the most exciting ones that we've done, it is the largest modification to the B-2 ever. It's called the Defensive Management System Modernization Program. Uh, and the way to look at that is the DMSM program is what we call it. It's essentially four subsystem upgrades all being done at the same time. The display subsystem upgrade, so going from a I'll say a cathode ray tube type of design to a modern display technology. The graphics processor. Is that going to be like a HUD? Uh, it'll, it'll be not a, a heads up display. Yeah. No, it, it is not a heads up display. Okay. We have um, an avionics upgrade. So a lot of the systems that do detection ID and geolocation, that is being upgraded with modern technology. The LO system antennas. So one of the, the greatest things. Uh, that we've done is been able to take advantage of the modern antenna design technology that our suppliers have and putting on the new interferometers on the aircraft that's going to greatly increase the sensitivity as well as the performance and geolocation performance of the system than it's ever had. Uh, and the, the last is all the onboard software that is looking at the environment and making uh, suggested changes to the crew on what may be the best path, doing a, a process, what we call Jeopardy assessment. So when you look at all of that together, new displays, new avionics, a better LO performance of the aircraft, and then the software all in the back end, with the jet already put together in Palmdale, we're doing integration, integrated avionics testing right now in Palmdale. We're just getting ready to start flight tests. It'll be pretty exciting for the aircraft. So one of the things that uh, the F-35 talks a great deal about is the data fusion on the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Now, I know because of the age of the B-2, uh, Marvel though it is, the guts, as you're mentioning, are pretty old. Yes. Um, are you going to be able to do that kind of data fusion once the upgrades are done? So one of the, um, I'll say one of the best things that we're doing on DMSM is putting on a new mission computer. The mission computer is open mission systems architecture, tier one compliant. So as we're bringing on new capabilities to the weapon system, it's, it sort of unlocks that legacy architecture that has been part of the B-2 for the past 30 years. Again, it's 30 years from first flight this past July 17th. So um, as we look for DMSM going forward, this mission computer with OMS is, to me, it's, it's the thing that unlocks the future capability growth of the weapon system. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome.